there there has been this, this there has been this belief among these great thinkers in quantum mechanics that this is a place where where the human mind in some way is connected with deep aspects of physics uh, through the the uh, phenomena of measurement and that makes a lot of sense uh, and uh, but none of these guys were able to solve that uh, and to their satisfaction and, and the problem is still there and so that's another place where I believe that some new creative thought of some kind uh, yet to be determined will perhaps lead to more insight into what this connection is between mental function in some way and actual physical reality as defined by, by quantum theory. Um, if, you look at, if, if you look at how scientists like to uh, explain, if you look at how scientists like to explain or reduce what they call reduce things to kind of deeper, more fundamental explanations, when we talk about explaining biology more uh, fully in some way, we usually appeal to, to chemistry and physics and we explain the biological phenomena of how nerve cells are working in terms of some kind of underlying chemistry uh, and then the chemistry can be explained in terms of some kind of underlying physics of the atoms and molecules and then uh, when it comes to really understanding or explaining the details of physics, one usually has to appeal or ultimately has to appeal to very elaborate mathematics and so quantum theory and, and relativistic uh, quantum theory and general relativity are ultimately very mathematical theories and if you look at the frontiers of physics these days you see things like string theories which are so elaborately mathematical that very few people understand what's going on the mathematics is so uh, esoteric so ultimately our understanding of reality in some kind of deep way is very mathematical and mathematics is tied in some very fundamental way to the human mind and to brain function and how is it that we can think of this stuff as humans how do we think of elaborate mathematical constructs that have some kind of agreement with reality so there's this kind of full circle yeah. uh, uh, and it, so it makes sense that if a, if a, if new progress is going to be made in some way in understanding the mind, it might be at this connection between kind of fundamental physics and uh, mental function in some way.